Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, this is Pope. I, I'm not feeling good, and I haven't been for a bit, but I got to get this done. Uh, right here, some um, generous uh, owners or people still having some Comic fe Fest books and handing them out. Swamp Kid. That's pretty cool. The Dark Red number one, uh, which looked really good. Deceased. Um... Hopefully that's a important issue in the future. Ghost Rider number one, that was cool. And Boba Fett. Um, uh, let's see. I'm going to stop right there for a sec. Uh, I'm going to mention this thing real quick. Real briefly, this is a book that... Uh, uh, if you don't know about it, uh, check into them. But... Um, uh, I'm trying to sell this book, and it's it's pretty unique, you know. It's a, a Marvel Collector Classics of the Spider-Man, but it's this awesome foil cover. I'm going to try to maybe go Instagram, or if you're interested, anybody, uh, just drop a comment or something. And uh, let's, uh, we're going to go, you know, best offer, maybe. <laughs> Okay, let's um, let's do this real quick. I got a huge stack of independence here, uh, but I do want to go through this real quick. Uh, DC, you got your uh, Batman White Knight, and last next to last issue of Doomsday Clock, which I'm really excited about, especially with that new uh, Watchmen show on HBO. I've been Justice League Dark from the beginning. Happy to keep up with that. Uh, Doom Patrol, number five. I missed number four. Uh, it was also a really tough black and white looking cover. But it just wasn't that plentiful and it evaporated. Uh, you know, sack full of heads. Uh, or a basket, if you like that. A real interesting inside uh, in the interior art, by the way, is, uh, uh, I just love the cover too on that. And I also love this, this book's coming back, uh, Hellblazer, not John Constantine, Hellblazer. Hell yeah. Uh, last but not least, uh, this was in there for some reason uh this was uh a win from an auction uh, which i will mention later ah what the hell shout out to manny uh from the new york warriors uh death of oliver queen green arrow <clears throat> i picked this book up um now that we're into marvel now um it's crazy issue one uh, a lot of good, fun stories, you know, reminds me of the old Mad Magazine and Crazy Magazine back in the day. So I did pick up that issue one. I also uh, had to pick up this Black Panther, number 17, hopefully for the return of Killmonger. Plus that black cover was tough to find. Daredevil, can't miss out on the Daredevil. Love that cover as well. Oh, I say that too soon. Of course, the uh, Mortal 25. And now that Immortal is bi-weekly, uh, Immortal Hulk uh, 26. It seems like this book was forever ago, but it really isn't. Uh, King Thor, number two. I've really been enjoying that. And... I, I mean, this is gratuitous that I'm picking up Marvel, but with covers like that, you know, I got to pick them up, you know, like that. It's amazing. Um, let me put that off to the side. Oh, I have two more. Hang on. Uh, no, no, just one more. Sorry. And I also did get Killer Smile. Uh, I've been very selective with the black label, but most of the stuff I get, I've been really enjoying. Uh, let me 
make sure I move this correctly here. Hang on. Okay. Now, let's see. Uh, let's do this side over here. I gotta get to it sometime. Uh, probably the hit most hideous cover for a Cerebus in Hell in a long time. Dave's been killing it with all those covers he's been doing for Cerebus in Hell. And this was not one of them. Uh, as he does his color your own. Okay. And you know me, I'm Pope Cerebus. I mean, I'm always repping Cerebus, but... Man, that was a horrible cover. Um, <laughs> see my comments on hate. <laughs> Terry Moore, five years. I can't wait to read this book. This is like my favorite book when it comes out. But I'm so stoked that I found a copy. Adventure Finders 3. I lucked out on getting a copy of that as well. Issue 5, Killer Groove. Really been enjoying that. The I, I leafed through it. I didn't read it yet, but uh, the end of that looked really bizarre. Like, people getting off that you don't think are going to get off. And just, it was really strange. Knight's Temporal, number 4. The only copy that I saw of this, Shoplifters Will Be Liquidated. It was cool to get that one. You Are Obsolete, number 2. I looked okay inside. I don't know about that. Really, really happy to have found a copy of this. Anyone see this? Dragonfly versus Dragonfly Man. Woo! That was cool. Um, second Coming. I mean, this is going in order of independence. So we're with Ahoy and Second Coming. That was issue four. Some of my favorite pickups this week. Uh, Alterna Comics, $1.50 for Red Koi. Wow, this book was great. So happy to have found a copy. Whoops. I removed one too soon. And Voidwalker. So, very happy with that. Uh, happy to have found Alterna books in general. <clears throat> And this book, Magician, um, I'm really happy to have found a copy of that. Magicians, that looked like really good. Um, Lola, XOX, uh, XOXO is excellent series. The art inside is phenomenal. The story is great. Um, another one of my favorite books. Uh, speaking of, because they're also putting out these amazing... Uh, incentive variants on this Lola and these can't be highly printed they just they just can't um, even the not the great ones go for you know 10 12 15 bucks maybe even higher psycho list black box that's a psycho cover look at that uh, a train car full of body parts okay Name of the book, Psycho List. Uh, this was a back issue. I actually still have a shop near me that surprisingly has first print, once in future number ones, cover price, whatever. But this was also a story that I was very uh, excited to pick up the one because now I can read up to current. Savage Skies over East Berlin. I've been picking this up as well as the second cover i don't know why i just i didn't really maybe like this cover or, not or whatever but i just wanted both berserker unbound issue four that might be the last issue but mike diodato jr with jeff lemire <laughs> yeah count crowley i really i dug this i looked inside of this and this was actually very cool as well very happy to have gotten that. Uh, the Reluctant Midnight Monster Hunter. Totally down. I try to avoid the Fight Club 3, you know, but these Duncan for Grado covers keep coming and they're just fantastic. And I keep picking it up. Really surprised by uh, Last Stop on the Red Line. 
Um, it, it seemed like not a whole lot of people picked this up um, after the initial first few issues, but I, I kept going with it. Manor Black, what a great cover. The Mask. I was really happy to see The Mask come back. And this story is actually, it's pretty crazy good. So I'm really actually looking forward to The Mask series continuing. Vengeance of Vampirella number two. Lucio Perillo. Heck yeah. I think I still have the issue one on hold for me. Ascender. Gotta stick with that. That's a saga in the making. Coffin Bound. Heck yeah. This was awesome. Uh, in fact, the issue four was a ginormously thick uh, book, so I was really happy to have found that one. Of course, keeping up with Brew Baker on Criminal. God, this just never ends. And I, I mean, <laughs> Dead Eyes. Great cover. Hopefully a great salvage and relaunch of that series. Um, they're still doing very well on those 1 in 10 alt covers on that as well. A, a series I've kept up from the beginning. They're on issue 41. Deadly Class. Again, the return of the series Death or Glory. Rick Remender. Uh, I just thought that was a great cover. I was happy to pick that up. Uh, I don't do it well. I guess I do it more often than I imagine. But I always tend to pick up both covers to die because it's hard to really pick one that looks the best. You know, the, what's the better cover? Yeah, I get them both. Middle West. It's a great series. Safer Sex number two. Um, yeah, I'm still collecting Spawn. And I'm still trying to imagine having an equal set of black and whites. <laughs> That's crazy. Butcher Queen from Red 5. Really happy I picked this up. The issue one. I finally found or went back and found a copy of Headless number three. Uh, I've enjoyed that book immensely. As if Red Winter, another one. It's a killer. Ginseng Roots. That was very good, actually. I was very happy to have found a copy of that eventually. The Heist. How to Steal a Planet. Um, I read that, actually, and it was, it was very interesting. God, I'm having to reach so far back. The Mall, number three. Uh, Money Shot. The variant uh, FF homage cover. And then uh, there was uh, this book. I figure if I'm going to pick up variants, uh, I better pick up ones that are worthwhile. This was actually a reading copy that was thrown in on a purchase for this book. Uh, this was the Janet Jackson uh, Rolling Stone cover homage uh, variant to Money Shot. And at this point, if you've read that first issue, I, I want to see what happens. <laughs> I mean, whoa. But uh, I figure if you're going to chase a variant, I mean, maybe one that's a little culturally significant, if I can say. <laughs> I couldn't even say that with a straight face. Uh, I like the story, and I really like this cover, so I picked that up. Um, there weren't a ton of these. Maybe 250, but I really like that. Uh, the plot <laughs> that's an amazing cover. I love that story. Relics of Youth. I'll bring it up here. Relics of Youth. Um, there's something going on there too, so I really like that story. Resonant, fantastic. I mean, pretty much Vault. Vault has been. One of my favorite go-tos. Test. I think this is ending up. That story's great. Um, and then there's Wasted Space. Oh my god. 
Wasted space, dude. Uh, managed to find not one, <clears throat> but two copies in amazing shape. This one's mylard out, so this one must be the even nicer one. Um, Garney? Garvey? I think it's, I, I can't remember now. But Unbound number one, stoked to have found that. And then finally here in the Z category, I did manage to find the Watcher, uh, which actually was fantastic on uh, issue three. I'm going to go back and try to pick up the other side covers, but I was just ha honestly happy to have found those that I did. Here we go with a couple extra little back issue pickups. The Virgin cover to Black Badge, number six. And Virgin cover two to Bone Parish. Can't leave out Brew Baker again. Uh, I picked this up. This was actually on a cheap sale. Um, I mean, I think I got it for five bucks. And this one actually blows them both away because I got this for a dollar. The hardcover to Girl with Dragon Tattoo. Uh, another highlight here, uh, if anyone's seen this, especially people that lean toward, towards the Golden Age. These are, I, I want to say they're straight Golden Age reprint rip off pages with new dialogue and new captions some funny some interesting just sham comics these look great calling dr sham oh i love this cover issue five vault of sham and this cover here sham number six all of those were great and i was really happy to find those Last but not least, rounding it out, man. Shout out to Manny. This is the book I got from him. I was so stoked. Uh, honestly, way, way better condition than I think even he said. This was really good. Uh, and then he also, in that, I got this signed second appearance of Metamorpho, which also, for the condition, it's surprisingly in good shape. But it's CBCS, so... Ooh, did I start controversy? Mr. Miracle in a 9-0, but looks 9-2 at least. Holy smokes. Such good shape. And then last but not least, I'm really stoked to get this issue 7 leading into 8 and 9, my Machine Man. Uh, 9.6, White Pager. 2001 Space Odyssey. And uh, all that came from Manny. Thank you, man. This is uh, this is a great video and a shout out to everyone there uh, who's always there in the community. Uh, I appreciate it, everybody. Um, leave a comment. Talk about anything you saw in here. Let me know about that Spider-Man and uh, maybe any other books that uh, I might have missed. So peace out. I got some more craziness coming soon. See ya.